Hey, welcome back to Fathom Aquatics. Today, I've got something special. I've been selected to trial or beta test a new type of media from BioHome. Bio Rock. Before I get started, for disclosure, the manufacturer of BioHome sent me this package for review. They don't get to provide any input on this video's production, and they don't get to review this video before it gets published. No money changed hands, and the shipping was paid for out of pocket by the distributor. I do, however, get to keep the entire sample of BioRock for the purpose of prolonged use and testing. So now that we got that out of the way, what is BioRock? So BioRock is a totally man-made synthetic rock made from the same stuff that all BioHome media is made from. BioRock is basically just BioHome that's shaped to resemble rocks similar to live rock formations popular in saltwater aquariums. Not only is it 100% made from recycled material, but because it's a man-made product, it is not destructive to natural environments like many other hardscape products are. BioRock is manufactured entirely from recycled glass and byproducts of the aggregate industry that contain trace elements and minerals shown to be beneficial to healthy bacteria formation, and it's all held together with all natural binding agents. Specific saltwater versions of BioRock or any biohome media contain additional trace elements to encourage the healthy growth of corals in reef systems. A sphere has the greatest surface area of any shape, so the BioRock construction is made of a matrix of millions of tiny spheres fused together right at their points of contact, making a structure that is resilient to clogging and allows for a smaller effective footprint compared to other filter media. Because of this centered glass construction, this is much more effective than media types like ceramic rings, and it is totally inert and should have little to no effect on your aquarium's pH level. BioRock weighs approximately 50% less than most natural rocks of a similar size, and it comes in all of the same colors that other BioHome media comes in. So, now that we know what it is, why do we want it? Well, the huge available and protected surface area allows aerobic and anaerobic bacteria to thrive, while also creating an excellent environment for the removal of not only ammonia and nitrite, like most medias, but also nitrate too. This is 100% real time and is not being sped up. This demonstration shows the capillary action of the water traveling up the rock structure, proving that this rock is absolutely full of internal usable surface area for the bacteria on top of the surface area that's on the outside. The water has already climbed to half the height of this rock in just a few seconds, but when it's submerged inside your aquarium, this rock is going to be soaked through in just a few seconds, providing massive amounts of living space for all the beneficial bacteria you could ever need. As someone who has already been using BioHome Ultimate and BioHome Max in my sump for a very long time, I'm extremely excited for BioHome to release BioRock to the market so I can get some more of it. My final thoughts. This stuff is just like BioHome filter media, but even better. I can use it as an actual hardscape in my tank and even put plants like java fern, anubias, and mosses right on the rock. The only con that I have is that some of the rocks had small pieces that just broke off in shipping and that's kind of expected. However, these small pieces are just chunks of biohome, so I threw them in my filter. If you're interested in BioRock or any other BioHome media and you're located in the US, you can get it the cheapest from greatwaveeng.com and if you're located outside the US, go to filterpro.co.uk and click on your country's flag on the top of the page to find your local distributor. Thank you Richard aka The Pond Guru here on YouTube for letting me trial this prototype product early and give my initial thoughts on BioRock. There's going to be more videos from me about BioRock in the future, so like and subscribe so you don't miss them. Thanks everyone, I'll see you in the next one.